When we were kids, we used to solve problems using hot glue, like this piano playing robot. It uses it uses four motors to hit a side of the robot. It can this is a boat which moves around in the water and pulls a little piece of plastic. It's also controlled using an animal. <laughs> That's too far. We have to recommend. So, to oh. recap, what Sansa does, it just looks at these, it looks at the database it has, and 
according to that database, it takes these answers and it marks it. So over here, we'll see that we got correct, wrong, wrong and wrong, because we didn't answer the last one. So now, students want to know, why am I wrong? So they click on the, yeah, on the button. Click that. That's it. And it's not, it's loaded. It's loaded. Yeah, I still think. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> try it again, try it again. Let's uh, reload. Refresh, refresh. Okay. Yeah, so, click on the wrong. Yes. So, then they'll be able to see all the model answers in the database. And they'll be able to understand why their answer was not wrong and how to improve on their answer. But let's say, I don't think this answer was not wrong. I think science is stupid. <laughs> so what will the students do? They click over here on these little check boxes to dispute their answer. And then they scroll down and click continue. Just click continue. <laughs> <laughs> so now, if I logged in as a teacher or an admin, we can validate the feedback and the disputes that the students gave us. So up here, we'll see all the disputed answers in the system. You can see that the answer that we just disputed was at the bottom. As a teacher, you can click here and see the model answers. Then you can choose to either mark it correct, wrong, or ignore it. So well, that's pretty much what science does. The technology used in science are as follows. IBM Watson, the AI, Python, the Brain, HTML, the Frontend, and Flush, which connects Python and HTML. This is a flowchart of what science does. First, the student logs in, receives a test, selects the test, receives a question, and and answers the question. This is pretty much what I just showed you in the demo, but more thought out. <laughs> then, Sansa checks the answer against modern answers for this and uses IBM Watson's natural language processor. Then, it gives the student the scores, the student gives feedback, science like clicking the chat boxes, science passes that feedback to the teachers who validate it and push it back to IBM Watson's natural language processor. Here are some future technical development that we can do. We can scan textbook to get new questions and answers. This saves the pain of typing out all the new questions and answers. We can use it thesaurus to get more correct answers because there are so many different words and we can't use all of them. Science up has 81.88% oh. accuracy. <laughs> We will collaborate with people such as front end developers so that they can make our app look beautiful and oh. teachers, students, and parents to test the application and give us feedback. We need teachers, especially in science teachers. So we have a bigger database and Scienza can be more accurate. You can get in touch with us by talking to us after the presentation. You can email me at curiousofia.com. <laughs> you can access Scienza at http So here is, uh, do we have time? Yes, yes. Here is a video that we use to promote science. Do it! <coughs> How to? <laughs> then no, we don't have time. <laughs> 37 <laughs> seconds. You can do no, it. We don't have time. <laughs> you can do it. Come on, we believe in Go the internet. It. Go for it. <laughs> it's going to take that time. Wait, is the internet even connected? Yeah, it it it's kind of weak. But it's slow. it. No, no. It's alright. You can show the video later. Yeah, people will hang out. <laughs>